What's up everyone? So today I'm headed down to Eugene to pick up a new shell that has some parts on it that I want and to meet up with Craig and talk with him and he's actually kind of come back to Salem as well I think so we're gonna check out his FRS and his 8.6 that he's got a SR20 in now it's Sunday night um, basically what happened <clears throat> was using my nav navigation just totally annihilated the battery in this uh, LG G5 the battery in these things sucks the camera is pretty awesome but the battery is absolute crap in this phone so by the time I got down to Eugene the battery is pretty much dead I charged it for a little bit at Craig's house but um, we had to use the navigation to find the guy's house and by the time we were done doing that there was just no battery left to film anything so <clears throat> you can kind of see i got a bent rota grid here i actually got two of them which that little bend i mean is way better than the rest of my wheels that you've seen so not a big deal to me but i did pick up the fc shell it's a decent shell it's got a clean title it's already got wide body fenders in the rear which i might end up cutting out to put on my car because they're a little bit smaller than the ones that I got from my buddy Chris. So I haven't decided that yet, but right now it's about 10 o'clock at night and I gotta put this trailer in the backyard and unhook everything from my Explorer because my wife needs it back. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I changed the plan. While I still have some light out here, I'll show you this FC. Sort of have light out here. Missing door handle, this is pretty common on an FC because the driver's side one always breaks, but I finally got a chassis harness. That's actually the engine harness, but the chassis harness is in here too. So, a uh, good set of doors. Notice how it doesn't have that big, huge dent like mine does. These fiberglass, but overall, not a bad looking car. Sorry you can't really see much because it is nighttime and all but fairly straight I might make this the next drifter I might um, make a streetcar out of it I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but I do know the first thing I'm gonna do is put it in the back of my uh, garage actually no I'm gonna put it in the back of the house <laughs> All right, so you can kind of see the other side a little bit better now. So pretty straight shell. And it's here amongst a whole bunch of other car parts. All right, so yeah, I left it on the trailer for now. I'm not gonna try to unload a car with no brakes in the dark by myself into my backyard that's just dumb I'm not gonna do that not tonight anyway um, so yeah like I was saying earlier sorry lost my train of thought here um, it's a really clean shell so I might make a street car out of that depending on how the driver's side control arm turns out it was really towed out when I went to pick it up so I have to figure out what that's all about but I might build a street car out of it or I might use it as a new new build because I do have another silver RX-7 over at Level Ride right now that they really want me to come pick up and take home which obviously I'm running out of room quickly but I'm gonna get there soon with that um, but I kind of want to switch to a whole different chassis altogether eventually so I don't know really what I'm gonna do with it but I got it for 300 bucks with that set of Rota wheels too so the harness that I need to run the tail lights, the brake lights, the headlights, even the wiper switch because it has the engine harness with it. Because all that stuff is on toggle switches now, which isn't bad, but it's definitely not good. I don't have brake lights in it and I don't have tail lights in it. I, I lied. Uh, so I can run all that now. And, you know, competition really likes that stuff. So that's 
one of the big reasons for buying it. Plus, you know, it has good doors, wide body rear fender, something I can use. Also, I fitted up the wheels and I don't think they look too bad, honestly. I'm really not an 18 inch wheel guy. I like 17s, especially like white wheels on my car, but this gold will stay for a while. There's a company here in Salem that does sandblasting and painting, and I'm going to try to hook up with them and get a video made for that because I think it's cool to watch this stuff with the sandblaster just annihilate paint. So I think it would be cool content. You guys let me know what you think, but I think it would be pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, I uh, picked up that shell this weekend, and I also picked up a little four-cylinder Ranger pickup. Two-wheel drive, of course, because that's how you can do skids in them. So right now it's running on three cylinders slash two. I have another motor for it, but I'm really curious to find out what this guy did to the old motor that just destroyed it or seemingly destroyed it. So I'll end up diving into that next. Um, just I'm too curious. It's just how I am. But yeah, you can see, obviously, I still need a door. And those wide body fenders on that one, they're molded in, so I'm going to have to cut those out. But they're only like a 20 mil wide body, which I would like. Um, these ones that I got from Chris, they're nice, and the price was perfect. But <laughs> uh, they are huge. I mean, I really got to... You can't tell from the video, but there's like a good inch, inch and a half that's not being filled up right now. So I got to do something about that. With these 18s, that's with a 20 mil spacer on it. And I like that. It looks pretty good. Um, problem is, is they're 10 inches wide. So I don't know if they'll hit the control arms or not. Again, just more stuff that I get to play with um, and figure out. But I got my lower control arm or my lower ball joints in the other day. So me and Kurt are probably going to cut those up next weekend. I'll make sure to get a video of that because a lot of people have asked me uh, what I do there and the process of it and it's really freaking simple so I'll just sit, show you what we do there but uh, yeah that's, that's basically it sorry that all my videos have been pretty short lately just I haven't had any time to do anything I've got parts here now now I need to find the time to do it so eventually I will get there so just hang on with me but don't forget to like subscribe and comment let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you like the short videos, maybe I'll do more of the short videos and less of like the 15 minute ones. If you like the 15 minute ones better, uh, it, just let me know in the comments. So I have an idea of what you guys want to watch because these videos are easy to make. It's the longer ones that are pretty hard. So anyways, yeah guys, I'm going to call it a night and I will see you guys later.